following the recent protests that took place at the National Assembly gate demanding the Senate President to sack Senator Bara Jibrin as chairman of the Appropriation Committee of the Senate, the Civil Society Group for Transparency and Accountability has come out in their masses to condemn the call as it is a means of distracting Senator Bara Jibrin from performing his duties in line with the vision of President Mohammed de Buhari's agenda of returning the nation budgetary system to January-December budget cycle. This was made known to newsmen during the protest at Abuja by Comrade Sunday Atta, spokesman of the Civil Society Group for Transparency and Accountability. We wish to condemn the campaign of calumny launched against the senator and his colleagues by the highly corrupt, controlled governor of Kanu State, Gandoje popularly known as Gan Dollar. It's very worrisome to us in the civil society to see this corrupt governor launching campaign of calumny against courageous individuals who are working tirelessly to deliver the dividends of democracy to the good people of Kanu State. On this note today, we are gathered here today to assure Ganduje and his cohort that we will not relent in our struggle until the very day the people of Kanu State get justice because of the way and manner he, has, he and his family has filtered away the resources of Kanu State. We are calling Ganduje and whosoever cares to listen that we demand that they should leave Senator Buru yes. Jibri alone, Senator Ibrahim Shakaro alone, and uh, Taradana, and all credible people that are openly opposing their way of thieving, stealing uncontrollably from the coffers of Kanu State government. Yes, yes, yes. It's on record that Senator Buru Jibri, alongside his colleagues, work hard to deliver the vision of President Mohamed Buhari's agenda of returning the national budgetary system to January December budget cycle. Nigeria are happy, Nigerians are happy, and with this great feat achieved by those credible Nigerians which has no doubt brought transparency and accountability to our budget system. We make bold to say that under the distinguished leadership of Senator Baru Jibri, the padding of budget, as you all know, that has bedeviled our uh, bu budgetary system is now a history. He also urged Senator Baru Jibri to continue his good work and stay focused. It's on this note that we, are, we wish to pass a very, in, in very strong terms a vote of confidence on the leadership of the Senator, distinguished Senator Bur, uh, Baru Jibri, and we urge him to stay focused and continue to do his good works for the betterment of the country and should and shouldn't allow himself to be intimidated by hired criminals, hired thug, hired political distractors from Ganduje and, and, and his cohort to the good works that he's doing. Finally, we wish to call on the EFCC, the ICPC, the Nigerian Immigration Services, and even the police to put their surveillance on Gandola, pop, uh, Ganduje popularly known as Gandola, yes. because credible information available to us shows that he's planning to go on exile because he has stolen so much he can't even wait to run away before the expiration of his tenure as governor of Kanu State. Nigeria can, no long, can only move forward and achieve its full potential when thieves and criminals like Dangoje, Dan, Dandoje, who betray the trust people, repose on them to make life better for them, rather stealing from them and destroying the economy of the state. We demand that justice be served him as the day he's leaving that office. We demand that the AFCC arrest him immediately for further prosecution so that Nigerians will see that President Mohamed Buhari truly came to liberate us from the hands of criminals like Gandoje, who has turned Kanu State to brew the change branch in Kanu. Today we know that Gandola, Gandoje popularly known as Gandola, has an institution of stealing. He's not tired of stealing. And in his usual trade, if you speak against it, advise him, he sends talks against you. You all know the media is aware of this fact that yeah. Gandoje is the leader of talks in Nigeria. As I'm speaking right now, I know that my life is safe because I'm standing for justice and speaking for the nation and speaking for the state, Kanu yeah. State, that Gandoje must face the law the day he's leaving his office. Yeah. And a better advice from, from us in the civil society to him is to face Kanu State and prepare for judgment day on the day that he's going to leave his immunity. We condemn in strong terms 
the heart of gathering some hoodlums, some street urchins against this hard-working senator of Kano State, Senator Barao Jibrin, and other good uh, Nigerians who have contributed immensely to the development of Kano State and Nigeria at large. We would not sit back, fold our hands, and watch the names of these young Nigerians being dragged to the mud. Whosoever is behind these people that came out yesterday to drag the name of this senator in mud, they have not done well. And as such, we condemn in strong terms whosoever is behind that to desist from that evil way. Because we, the youth of Nigerians, will not sit down and watch people drag the name of these Nigerians into mud. Dokas Olariwaju, Voice TV, Nigeria.